Hello, and welcome again to the Barting Glass. Today, Natasha will be making a couple of beads on the hothead torch, just to show you how nicely the hothead torch also works with the Barty Glass. Today, we'll be using first the uh, semi opaque pink and also uh, transparent burgundy and a SOP white, semi-opaque white. Now when you get started here, don't forget to just hold that glass rod up to the tip of the flame, even just outside the flame to start, and then slowly move that rod into the flame, heating that rod slowly. Once it uh, begins to turn orange, orangish white, you just slowly move that glass into the flame and begin to work it. In case you missed the credits, that's my dad on the piano, Edgar Biamonte, he's a professional jazz pianist. Thanks a lot for the music, Dad. Love you. Now this SOP pink is a very beautiful pink color. Some people have referred to it as bubblegum pink. You'll notice that uh, Devardi glass is a little stiffer than other glasses. It stands up a little more. This is great for uh, making designs or uh, shaping your beads various shapes, making discs, that type of thing. But just remember when you uh, start the glass to just work it toward the end of the flame and slowly bring the glass into the flame. Even with the hothead torch you can uh, just work it at the tip of that flame and it works very nicely very nice glass to work with once you get used to it. Now Natasha will be using the uh, opaque lavender here to uh, make some little flowers. This is a stringer she made earlier and uh, we'll be making some videos as soon as we can on making stringers. They're actually fairly easy to make with the Devardi glass because it is a stiffer glass makes nice straight clean stringers. Now, this is just a fairly simple bead. We don't really have a whole lot of time on these videos to make complicated ones, but uh, we just wanted to show you how nicely the glass works with the uh, hothead torch. Some people had some questions on that. So uh, there you go works great. Natasha is not really used to the hothead torch because we use a uh, propane oxygen setup but uh, she's doing pretty good. This is the uh, SOP white decorating some little flowers there. With another stringer. Now we'll be making another bead here in just a second, so stay with us beyond this video. There you go on that one, cute little bead. Now this uh, bead Natasha is using three different colors. The uh, light ivory, it's an opaque, with uh, semi-opaque white and a transparent burgundy. And uh, Natasha did her nails today, so uh, it was an ideal day to do it. You 
you can see how nice the uh, party glass sits on the mandrel. This uh, light ivory is sort of a SOP tannish in the rod, but when you heat it up, it turns a real nice opaque ivory white. Same with the uh, regular ivory. This is a light ivory. And Natasha is shaping it on the marver a little bit. Every once in a while you can get a glimpse of her manicure. She did her nails and uh, they look good in the video, I'll tell you what. This is the uh, semi-opaque white now. Should just be making some simple dots around the, around the bead for decoration. just want to say once again that uh, we're so grateful for everybody's support. People have been just absolutely wonderful and uh, we just can't get over it. We just uh, love you all. Thanks so much. Now Natasha is uh, adding a transparent burgundy. Just for a cute little design there. That's about it, folks. Thanks once again for tuning in. And uh, if you have any questions, you know where to get a hold of us. We're always here. And uh, we try to answer our emails very regularly. So send us a note. Thanks again, man.